In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, in the abundance of your kindness, surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to forgive what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law. And that no one is justified before God by the law is clear, for the one who is righteous by faith will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed, us, Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord, Lord will remember, remember his, his covenant, covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The, the Lord, Lord will, will remember, remember his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord, the Lord will remember his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of nations. The, the Lord, Lord will, will remember, remember his, his covenant, covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and a house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I, then, drive out demons by Beelzebul, 
By whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus. Jesus. Through the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. As the people are trying to trap Jesus, uh, they're trying to tell him, uh, they're trying to tell one another, oh yeah, he's driving out demons, but because he's a friend, he's a buddy of Beelzebul, the prince of demons. He's a a buddy of demons. And so they they say, oh, you want us out? Oh, we'll go out. Yeah, sure, no problem. See you later. Which is ridiculous. And Jesus points out, you know, if, if Satan is going to be Uh, attacking himself how can his kingdom stand he would never do that Uh, but Jesus is not working with the devil Jesus is working working with humanity to save us the devil is working to knock us down for his own purposes and so Jesus again makes their their complaint ridiculous he doesn't insult them but he shows that it makes no sense at all Uh, And he warns them further. He says, yes, we're able to drive out demons, but you must be vigilant because the demons will be driven out, but they can come back if you let them. And they they may bring more demons with them. It may be harder to get in, so they bring more demons with them to break their way in, and then your condition is much worse than it had been previously. Jesus is saying, you need to be vigilant. You need to persist. Don't just have your sins cast away. Don't just have your demons cast out. But persevere with that every day. Be changed. Live in the faith. Lock the doors. Be armored in God. And the devil will not break through. Jesus is our protection. Our faith is our armor. Our faith in God. And he will protect us from evil. Now evil will continue to attack us. More frequently he will attack those who fight against him. Who who strengthen the barriers against the devil, the devil will try harder because if he knocks you down, yeah, that's a sign to everybody else. You live in the world. They had to forget about God. Do what's good for you. Get rich. You get famous. Have all the world say, oh, what a wonderful person you are. Forget about God. Yeah, that's what the devil is telling us. What Jesus tells us is this world is passing. There's nothing here that will last even for a breath. Even the things that we gain in the world right now, we lose it tomorrow. And then we pass out from here. We leave this world. And none of that stuff comes with us. Except friends and family, the children of God, they live forever. We live live forever and we ask that God protect us from the draws of this world now we need to live in this world we need to to depend on things in this world food shelter but mostly each other and we need to show love and remember that love is an action word word 
We need to be caring for one another, hospitable to one another, friendly, forgiving to one another. Don't carry grudges. We sin against God, and we pray that he doesn't carry a grudge against us. No, he forgives us. Jesus has paid for our sins, and he's paid for their sins as well. So let us not hold a grudge against anybody. And just forgive, and literally forgive and forget. And that's the hard part sometimes. Um, I remember uh, I was telling someone recently, I had a person who did something really nasty to me one time, deliberately, really mean, in my opinion. And uh, and I told the Lord, forgive him, Lord. Forgive him, forgive him, forget it. Forgive him and forget it. Let it go and let me forgive and forget. It's gone. He's forgiven. No problem. All done. And then every now and then I find myself going, oh, remember when he did that? Boy, that was, but I forgive him, Lord. That's No, let's forget it. Yeah, forgive and forget. No, forgive him, Lord. Yeah, but sometimes I kind of like, oh, no, 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 Lord. And I, I keep saying I forgive him, and then I realize I'm really not forgiving him that much. Lord needs to help me, and he knows that, and he is helping me, to truly forgive and to forget. And not carry the wound in me, but to throw it away. Or better, to give it away. Give it to our Lord. He takes it. He tosses it in his ocean of mercy. He forgives the gentleman. And and he strengthens me and feeds me and lifts me up in doing that. So uh, I ask the Lord, please really, truly help me through this. And if it takes time, fine. And this was years ago. So <laughs> sometimes I guess I hang on a little bit. But I don't want to. I really don't want to, Lord. Um, and we ask him to help us keep the home that he has cleaned out. Keep it clean. Don't get lazy. You know, we have faith in the God of Abraham. We are children of God through Abraham. We are the Israelites, along with the Israelites. We are children of Abraham in faith. And faith is stronger than blood. Because faith brings us directly to God. Lord, help us when you when you cleanse our souls of evil. Help us to not fall back, to be vigilant at the doors and not let that let that evil back in. Keep us strong. Keep us faithful. Keep our trust in you and keep us alert, Lord. And always draw us to you. And Encourage us, remind us always to call out to you for your daily strength that you give us from the water of the Holy Spirit pouring into us. Let us call out to our mother that she may always bring us to Jesus and she is so kind and gentle with us. And she reminds us, don't forget, say your prayers and mean them. I'll say I'm with you. That's our mother. She comes with us to Jesus. She said, look, that's your brother, king of the universe. God is a joyous kingdom, a wonderful, loving God. Let us be joyous and wonderful in God. And let us be vigilant against those who would take us away from that, now and always. Now let us join together as the body of Christ and offer our prayers to the Father. For the Church, may all her members be strengthened by the Holy Spirit in the universal call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God guide them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those oppressed by sin, may Christ's mercy and forgiveness bring them healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here and at home today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
For all who are ill physically or mentally, especially Jane Parente, Dennis Donovan, Emily Brown, that God may heal and strengthen them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of all the deceased, especially Ray Gonzalez and those who have been forgotten, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that Christians everywhere get along in peace and joy. Jesus warned us that Satan is too smart to to work against his own demons because a house divided against itself will fall. Likewise, we believers in Jesus from all over, we are not enemies of one another. We are brothers and sisters working together. Let us not fight against ourselves. We ask that our Lord give us moderation and and peace and enjoyment together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray today for Mary and Frank Liberio and for Kenneth J. Rungiero, Ruggiero, for whom this Mass is offered in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the redemption of sinners everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer you our prayers and our hearts through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, Lord, accept accept the sacrifice at our hands hands for the praise praise and glory of his name, for our our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, <laughs> and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, who can take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. the blood of Christ. Keep me safe for eternal life. And now please join me in making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks Jesus. Be to God. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin. My hand will 